Good evening, afternoon, morning, depending on where in the world you are. Welcome to another stream by uh, me, for Donnell. Today we're going to look at a system, well, not a system. Hey, Ragebol. <laughs> Welcome in. Uh, today we're going to look not so much at a system, but at a standard for uh, systems developed by uh, Microsoft and uh, ASCII Corporation. Uh, first published in June 1983, and today we're going to look at games from 1983. Usually when a system comes out halfway through a year, I will also look at uh, games from the year after, because usually I am short on games. But in this case that was not the case. Uh, even in 1983, in that half a year, I had to choose and really select a number of games because I had more than 50 games to choose from. That's a bit much for one, two, two, three hour stream. So we'll uh, look at what I had available and it's a selection. Some are better than others. And we will go uh, in reverse alphabetical order today. Okay, as uh, always, I'm streaming from my uh, Mr. FPGA. Hey Alex, welcome in. Nice to see you again. As you can see today we're doing MSX. I'm not sure if you had experience with MSX or not, Alex. I know Rakebol has, it was his first system as far as I remember. <laughs> but yeah, we're uh, looking at a number of games and we start with Turbo. I'm we'll go for normal play. I don't know how good I will be at those games, but yeah, there were quite a few games actually already out at the time. Ah, it's this one. Yeah, okay. I guess I have to avoid running into stuff. And I can only steer. And try not to be shot, I guess. Hey, Teal, welcome in. How you doing, mate? See, we got past one. This is an interesting. Oops, I couldn't avoid that one. Okay, mate, enjoy your lunch. We'll try this one more time. It's. Uh, I haven't seen this game. It's the first uh, time I see. A game like this, it's, you don't shoot or anything, you just have to avoid being shot. You steer left and right, and you can speed up, get past stuff. <laughs> A bit different uh, from most games we see. Different concept. Now, given that uh, these are uh, games from the first year of MSX, a lot of them will actually mostly have been out in Japan and Korea, because originally MSX was thought uh, by Microsoft and ASCII Corporation uh, to be suitable specifically for the Asian countries. 
uh, specifically then Japan, Korea, etc. That's also why the first company making an MSX machine was actually Sony, soon followed by a number of others. But there was actually one European company that made an MSX computers too, be it later on, namely Philips, Dutch uh, electronics company. But that took a bit longer than uh, the ones in Japan. What MSX computers did you have, uh, Ragebol? I know you have both an MSX1 and an MSX2, if I remember correctly, but I don't know which uh, brand you got, went for. hard to and you don't know anymore okay <laughs> that's not a brand I know but that's okay sorry I had to do that couldn't help myself uh, yeah you are older than me I know that <laughs> but in general uh, yeah <laughs> For those who don't know, Ragebol is a uh, colleague from of mine, so we've known each other for uh, a number of years. <laughs> I miss Lou. No, it's called Turboat, and I didn't know it before, but it's interesting concept. The only thing you can do is uh, steer left and right, and. Uh, Basically, hit the pedal to uh, speed up. You have to avoid getting hit by either shots or the other ships. At least that's all I found out so far, unless there's more to it. The fire button. Hey, there is something else that reacts. <laughs> hey, Pix, welcome in. I don't know. I only just found out that there is actually, it seems to do something if I do up or down, but I don't know what yet. It's not a game I know, so I just select a number of games and I have a feeling I need to do something more because I don't get any score at the moment, but I don't know why and how. <laughs> Unless, let me try something. Couldn't be that I have to hit, no, I can't hit it from the back. But I have no fire or whatever, so. There must be something else to do, I don't, just don't know what. <laughs> So how are you doing, uh, Mr. Lou and uh, Pixels? And what is your experience with MSX? And actually, if anyone knows anything more about that game, Turbo, <laughs> okay. Uh, 
I noticed I was just playing in practice. I don't know if that had anything to do with uh, l lack of score, so we'll see. <clears throat> nope, I don't score when the ship goes out. Hi, Suits! Welcome in! We are looking at a game where I have no idea what the goal of the game is, apart from uh, staying alive, but... <laughs> we'll actually go to the next game. And for that we have to reset. Which takes a few seconds. Do you have uh, any experience with MSX suits? Or... Uh, given that I think you're in the States, it would surprise me, but... Because MSX, of course, was uh, pretty big in uh, Japan, Korea, etc. But and also got somewhat bigger in uh, Europe later on. But outside those uh, locations, it wasn't really that big of a player. Even though Microsoft was uh, one of the two main companies behind it. And Magnavox Odyssey, <laughs> Odyssey 2, yep. Which we know as the video pack, the Philips video pack. <laughs> One player with joystick. I actually um, did that. Went uh, with that one uh, a little while ago. I uh, did the first year of that one. Was it two weeks ago or something like that? Oops. Okay, Mr. Lou, thanks for coming by. Have a good night and uh, hope to see you again soon. Hey, thanks for the bits, Mr. Lou. You didn't have to do that, but thank you very much for it. It's very welcome, of course. <laughs> As in uh, Atari uh, 2600 uh, ET. <laughs> it would be an option, I guess. Ah, too close. Yeah, at least we can, eh? Uh, it's a game I saw before, and I'm trying to think on which system that was. That might have been the ColecoVision, because that has a lot in common with MSX, as we found out. There are more games we will see later on that are were also on the ColecoVision. Hey, on y va. of subscription thanks for the resub or continue subscription what suits <laughs> yeah that was the music that was used in the game that I took also took the image from Daily Thompson's Decathlon Oh, thanks. Oh, and... Uh, <laughs> Actually, that's not the only uh, alert you have. That was Decathlon. Um, the other one is... Um, what's it called? Um, oh, come on. Hypo Sports. But for uh, Raids, I got uh, a completely different one. I got Lemmings. Uh, alert.
Is there a parachutist here? Because I think I have to catch the parachutists. Oh, for those who don't know yet, uh, today is actually Oniva's uh, birthday. Oniva being my girlfriend too, by the way, but for those who didn't know that. Happy birthday, Han. Well, I'm glad you like those uh, alerts, uh, Pigs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, indeed, uh, Pigs. That is my uh, wait alert. And thanks for the wait. <laughs> Like that one too, uh, Pigs? <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> I was pretty sure you liked lemmings. There we go. Bonus points. Oops. If I remember correctly, after a while, if you get enough points, um, you go to uh, another year and you get uh, more modern uh, planes to fight again. I uh, this one I have to fly into, I think. No, I have to shoot it. Oops. Hey, Curtis. <laughs> Welcome in, uh, Curtis. I doubt you have uh, any experience with MSX either, uh, Curtis, eh? <laughs> and how are you doing, mate? Thankfully, we can actually uh, load this from uh, hard disk images these days, and we don't have to... Uh, Change cartridges around. <laughs> Hi, Rob. Welcome in. <laughs> nah, I Curtis. I just wondered if you had any MSX experience, but I expect not, given uh, the part of the world you're from. But one never knows. It's now on automatic. And there we have Lord Soup. Welcome in, mate. I hope you have video today, because that was a bit of an issue uh, lately, yeah? into something uh, it has had 80 uh, CPU was it designed by uh, that was formalized by Microsoft together with the ASCII corporation Oops. And they had some uh, mostly Yamaha ships, if I remember correctly, uh, to do a lot of the stuff. And that was too late. <laughs> Some of you might recognize uh, what this is based on. Yes, of course, we know Snake, but this is actually based on a much older game from the early 70s. 
of which I always forget the name and I also know that Curtis always remembers the name. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> oh, come on. Looks like I have a negative score, actually. Oh, you have... Oh, you got the positive score and then uh, later the negative is taken away from it. Interesting scoring mechanism. Not one I've seen before. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got it on the, the big screen now, eh? It's good to see you in the... Uh... Lord Soup. I'm trying to remember, Lord Soup, if you had any experience with MSX. I'm not sure. I don't think so, but I'm not... No, I don't... No, you didn't. We talked about that, yeah. <laughs> um, it had a 8-bit... DOS uh, system, yes. So it wasn't original. It wasn't original MS DOS, but it had a very similar system, be it on 8-bit instead of uh, the 16 for and later 32-bit uh, systems. And it had uh, MS Basic on board, basically. That was the main thing. Should be able to do better than that. It's even on slow mode, that's the worst part. Ooh. <laughs> that was uh, way later than uh, I got started. My first one was a Z80 actually, be it in a time extinct. Well, in, no, first in a ZX80. And then my first PC actually was uh, 8088. Ah, time is up. Well, at least I got a high score. <laughs> 828, I actually skipped that one. I went from the 8088 to the 8386DX. <laughs> well, I don't drink uh, coffee, Han, as you know. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. <laughs> yeah, Curtis, I uh, tried it earlier today for a little bit. I didn't get anything uh, for, for yet, but I may get a chance tomorrow. Depends a bit how much uh, time I uh, spend on other stuff tomorrow, because I, I have tomorrow afternoon off. But I have some other things I want to do, so we'll see. If at all, I will try to do it, because I hope so. Yeah, I've been sort of busy, including uh, preparing uh, another redeem option that you can find now uh, in the redeem section. Something that will look familiar to uh, Mr. Pixels. I added the second option there. I already had the Spectrum Games Bible in there, but I did add the 8 bit book to it now. It's a bit weird. It's an interesting version. This is, of course, based on Scramble, etc. But 
for some uh, for some reason oh boy you will want spectrum 128 okay that means i have to enter the number in my application with the right keyboard of course too many keyboards 128 okay well you can see what the game is gonna be it's page 141 <laughs> most of the work i had was uh, in uh, copying the index of the books and then of course Put, uh, finding all the images. But yeah, we got uh, Wizard's War, Warrior, as you can see. Or Wizard's Warriors, I should say. The Wizard's Warriors by Abersoft, reviewed by Jumping Stack. The Wizard's Warriors was first published by Abersoft, the company who produced fourth programming software for the Spectrum. It's a ripoff, unofficial version, of the 1980 Midway arcade game The Wizard of War, WOW. Yes, we had a WOW before, what they use for it now. For those who don't know the arcade game, WOW deployed simplistic gameplay. You shoot monsters moving around a screen-sized maze and turn that simplicity into a tense shootout game of hide-and-seek between you as hero and a horrendous crew of acid-spitting vill villains, some of whom can have period of invisibility traceable by a mini radar screen. WoW encourages accurate shooting rather than the gung-ho approach as you wep your weapon will not discharge a second bullet until the first has hit something, wall or enemy. You launch yourself or after 10 seconds counter are launched, are launched into each dungeon as a brave gladiator. The nasties who are much disadvantaged by the lack of AI are replaced when dispatched with quicker and more fearsome characters. When a dungeon is cleared, a warlock or even the Wizard of War himself may make a high-speed appearance. It's a high-score game, which was also one of the earlier arcade games that allowed you to team up with player 2 and tackle the dungeon dwellers in tandem. WoW was seemingly a perfect game to port to the Spectrum. Simple, clean graphics set in a non-scrolling black maze. Sadly, Wizards Warriors was not that port. It has speed, but lacks tension and strategy. The maze is badly drawn and feels cramped. The neatly rendered uh, animated nasties of the original have also gone, depriving the game of much charisma. The Wizards Warriors might have passed muster by 1983 standards, were it not for a near-perfect port of WoW to the Commodore 64 in the same year. WoW is still regarded as a top 100 all-time game by C64 fans. The Wizards Warriors was regarded good enough to be still doing the rounds as a Mastertronic re-release in 1985, but this was not a big success for the fledgling budget label. Fledgling budget label. Fortunately for Spectrum fans, today the Wizard Warriors has finally been made obsolete by a new 2007 conversion of Wizards of Wizard of War by Weird Science Software from Hungary. It's a near perfect tradition of the game showing how much of an underachiever the Abersoft attempt actually was. And there you go. Not my best reading ever, but you know about Wizards of Warriors now. The Wizards Warriors now. Oh boy. TP might be smart, doesn't mean I am, uh, Lord Soup. <laughs> yep. Oh, there are a lot of them in there that aren't very good, but we knew that, of course. <laughs> and you're very welcome. Thanks, Seal, for that shout out, yes. Pixels is uh, someone, of course, uh, I've known for quite a while. And who uh, well, introduced me to a uh, big part of uh, 
what I now all follow on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, you still don't use the tap key, uh, Teal, eh? Talking about Teal, I, uh, of course, I'm very happy with uh, both my mods. And since we're doing shout outs, uh, if you don't follow Teal yet, please check him out. He, uh, as it says there, uh, does music, plays games, and he's just a, f a great friend and f fun guy. Hi, Voodoo Child, welcome in. How are you doing? As you can see, I'm doing, uh, we're doing MSX games today. The first year off MSX. And, and given that you say afternoon, I'm assuming you're in uh, North America or somewhere around those regions. So chances are you have never had an an MSX uh, system. I guess ah we got uh, something cleared somehow <laughs> For those who are wondering cuz some of us may know a certain spectrum uh, variation on this game thankfully in this one uh, they didn't uh, use forward to fire it's uh, fire and bomb is uh, both on the fire key in one in one uh, go which makes it a lot more playable doesn't mean I avoid all the rockets Child, what was your uh, first uh, gaming experience? Okay. <laughs> That's a bit later than I uh, started, but yeah. Some of those flash games were actually quite fun. <laughs> yeah, well, all uh, depends on the definition of a bit, huh? <laughs> I was just thinking the same, Wap. Let's have a look at the next game. <laughs> now, now, Curtis, that's a bit over. Uh, <laughs> Ah, okay, that uh, explains a lot, uh, Woody Child. Ah, Bob Dylan, good choice.
Not sure if this works with... Yeah, it does work with you. Oh uh, well, thank you for being uh, my friend and my mod, uh, Teal. I do notice, I, I do feel I don't say thank, uh, no, mention how often enough how thankful I am for that, because. Ah, I'm not allowed to fly into the birds, jeez. Yeah, that is. That I knew that I wouldn't fly, uh, soon fly into that uh, egg. And the pink eggs, I cannot shoot it seems. And I'm guessing, no, I was just gonna try if I uh, was allowed, if I had to pick them up or something, but nope, not that either. So I just have to avoid those. Uh, tux is al always handy, you know that. I have a weird feeling I know what's coming though. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, oops worthy, I agree, uh, Teal. <laughs> well, I only knew I couldn't shoot them. I was trying to see if I could collect them. <laughs> Oops. Okay. <laughs> I did say I wouldn't discuss, I wouldn't uh, argue about uh, decisions by you made by you. So yeah. I nearly made the mistake of starting to argue about it, which I shouldn't. Ah, damn. I'm not sure either, uh, Rob. <laughs> I know you are, Teal. I know you are. Yeah, this is clearly a very early game, but I was surprised actually by the amount of games that was available already in that first half year of MSX. Because I actually had to make a selection out of more than 50 games. I had, I had expected to uh, have to add games from the next year too, but nope. That was stupid.
I actually was uh, happened to be checking out uh, YouTube earlier today. And uh, I saw a comment on, from someone on my uh, Spectrum, uh, first year of Spectrum stream. And they mentioned that, uh, yeah, the games were very simple still then. Interestingly, when the uh, BBC came along, the BBC actually had quite a few better games already, which was kind of surprising since they were basically from the same time, of course. Let's see what else we have. We've scrambled enough eggs, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, it's interesting to see what you get uh, in that, uh, those first years, especially with those older systems. When it comes to stuff like uh, the NES versus the SNES, for instance, you also notice quite a difference in quality of games already because, well, all the tricks they learned already were used by now. But now, with these early systems, people were still learning how to do standard stuff. <laughs> yeah, there were a few more probably, but well. Oops, I couldn't avoid that one. This game is actually quite playable. Yeah, I couldn't avoid that one. Yeah, especially at first, of course, uh, all the home computer games were basically variations on uh, uh, on arcade games. And later, of course, you got uh, dedicated home computer games, which were quite different. Yeah, that was my fault. It uh, has uh, native rapid fire in this case. Which I uh, am not complaining about. If it didn't, I could switch it on either on missile level or... Uh, yeah, it was. Now, if, I, uh, if it didn't have, I could switch it on either on the missile or on my control, actually, which has its own uh, rapid fire settings. But no, this has uh, in-game rapid fire. And when uh, playing, actually, uh, in stream, I... Don't switch on rapid fire usually, I just leave it uh, as is. By the way, Teal, have you been hanging around with Ren a lot lately or something? You seem to have almost as much joy in uh, hitting that oops uh, as Ren does. <laughs> Oh, and for those who are wondering why the oops counter is so low these days, um, it's now a monthly counter instead of a total counter. There is also a total counter.
Yeah, I guess so, eh? <laughs> Although it wasn't completely a Wednesday yet, eh? Yeah, I mean, uh, what your misspelling at ND instead of double N. It's a pretty decent system, eh? They I wasn't a fan of it back in the day, but that had a lot to do with uh, the fact that I, of course, was a Spectrum uh, user, and you know, and MSX came a bit late in the Netherlands uh, when, basically, too late when uh, basically DOS and uh, well, no, Atari ST and Amiga were already taking over, and it became a bit bigger here. Oh, new opponents. I'm sorry, I have a slight itch here. <laughs> Let's try this one more time. This is actually fun. Ah, come on. Yeah, Spectrum was... Uh Yes, these are all original MSX uh, from the first year, so 1983. In the first half year, actually, uh, since uh, the MSX standard was uh, published officially in June 1983. I must say, looking at it now, they had quite an interesting system there. Possible answers to that, uh, Curtis. The Flying Dutchman, of course, was a ship, not a. <laughs> but uh, feel free to. You can call me anything you want, as you know. And I, I could uh, add the standard uh, thing to that, but <laughs> you can call me anything you want. <laughs> No teal, not that either. <laughs> sure, Curtis. 
Come on with the sass, mate. <laughs> I don't remember what this is. We'll see in a moment. Oh, this one. Yeah, I... Don't think I can play this. Okay, then. Nah, Lord Soup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, pipes. I uh, basically kicked everyone's butt uh, in. I think. Eh? <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, totally my kind of game, as you know, uh, Curtis. Although I seem to remember, I did quite well in uh, Tetris too. <laughs> This is hard. <laughs> yeah, interestingly, uh, Teal, Curtis is Canadian, but you say sorry more, I uh, realize lately. Yeah, they did later on, uh, Lord Soup. True. Ah, sure. Let's uh, play a bit of tennis. Ah, you're a sarcastic Canadian. Yeah, that's it. That must be it, uh, Curtis. Okay, interesting uh, color choices here. Oops, missed. And they call this real life tennis. <laughs> I've never seen uh, these colors on a tennis court, but okay. I'm sure they have uh, their reasons for it. In an ad. I'm not commenting, uh, hun. Oh, eh. That white thing, it seems to be the racket, yeah? <laughs> okay, Pix, thanks for the lurk, it's appreciated. Ah, net. <laughs> Oh, it's my turn, okay. Okay, I actually made a point there again. Oops. It's not a bad tennis game. Probably with a, with some practice, it would probably be quite playable. Oh, 
Oh boy, what's coming, Lord Soup? What's coming? <laughs> CPC, I already did, uh, mate. It's uh, in my vault and it will be on uh, the, what do you call it, uh, YouTube in, I think, two weeks or three weeks. Let me double check when it is. Yeah, three weeks. Uh, so in two weeks from now. Yeah, it was more than two weeks ago, uh, Teal, on uh, here. <laughs> yeah i'm uh, not uploading all my streams to uh the amigo channel uh, by the way uh talking about that i have a nice button for that one too for those who don't know some most of my streams actually uh, are uploaded to Amigos Retro Gaming YouTube channel later on. Hey, Mooncats. Welcome in. Um, hard to say. It wasn't... Uh, they weren't the biggest sellers here. And uh, the only Amstrad between quotes, the CPC I saw... Back in the day was a uh, Snyder CPC that a friend of mine had. Which was basically the same computer with uh, different keyboard uh, colors. And I think there was one interface that was a bit different. But apart from that, it was the same computer. <laughs> but was that your uh, first system, uh, Mooncat? Yeah, I like the name too. Okay, I'm uh, missing, I forgot, I thought I was serving, but I'm returning, well, not returning. <laughs> um, interesting uh, tennis game. Ah, okay. Now, I uh, I also had the Satisfying. Well, it was my second system. But these are all MSX games. But, uh, yeah, they also are Z80 processors. So, yeah. I like this interface they made, by the way. Okay, let's see what this is. Okay, on thanks for the lurk. Let me see, can I shoot? Ah, yeah, okay. Ah, but they are only temporarily disabled, okay. I'm guessing I need to collect all the things, which look like keys. I would have helped had I looked at the map beforehand where everything was. I'm pretty sure there are at least two on this side. Yeah, there's one. go in here or something yeah but what do I do then <laughs> I 
Yeah, they seem to have a very similar color uh, sets. The CPC and the uh, MSX. It's always fun playing these games without knowing what uh, to expect and what to do in them, so... Oh wait, it wouldn't be... I have an idea, Sandy, that I may know what I have to do here. Get out of the way here, see if they then go in there. No, they don't. Do I have to go in here then maybe? Yeah, there we go. So I have to collect all the keys, then open the locker and then go back to the center. Okay. guess where are they where is that one must have missed it on the map ah there it is uh, dead end so always nice yeah I'm pretty su sure it's Yamaha ship uh, they use as if I need another key. Oops, and I couldn't shoot. I'm gonna have my lower my volume a bit. One, two, three, four, five. No, there's only five. Okay, then I must have done something else that was wrong. Let's try this again. My father understood the game after the first level, but now I'm not 100% sure anymore. Okay, Teal. Have a good one. Oops. Let's start with that one. Yeah, okay, get stuck there. That's always fun. Since Seal is gone and Oniva is gone, I'll do this myself. Well, once was enough. Oh well, I deserve one from this one anyway. <laughs> Which reminds me, actually, um, for those who don't know, earlier this week I uh, got a Stream Deck and tried to get that working decently with my Linux setup, even though there's no official support. We know I know that, but there was support for it from a number of uh, groups. But all I got was crashes on the software, so in the end I sent it back, and now I'm using uh, something called Stream Pi on a Raspberry Pi with a touchscreen to uh, do a very similar functionality to the Stream Deck. Welcome back, Pix. Okay. Let's see, fire, bomb, left, right, start a space or trigger, okay. 
Let's see what we get here. Probably shoot them off, given that. Uh, Ah, okay. Let's try two photo spawns. It's getting a bit busy uh, here. Oops. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, the Atari, uh, what was that, was that Sea Battle or Air Sea Battle or whatever, and the Atari 2600, just a bit uh, quicker. Now, there's bound to be a reason why there is that pink there, okay, I can collect that, okay. Yeah, this is uh, kind of fun. Simple, but fun. Of course, we made basic versions of this uh, back in the day, too. But this is... Uh, one's quite a bit better than those basic versions we played. Oh. Ah, okay, I get... Uh, Something extra for that. I don't know exactly what it is, if it's a bomb or the fire, but... <laughs> exactly, Curtis. We all did, uh, did these kind of games, but this one actually looks pretty well made. Get pretty chaotic too with all the bombs and mines going at the same time. Oh, I missed one there, I guess. All your ships were destroyed. No, really? <laughs> okay, Lord Soup. Uh, if you have to make it into a competition, I did ride a Pac-Man in 2K RAM on uh, Timex Central 1000 once.
Well, but then I uh, did do uh, that eight year assembly too, because here we got uh, one of my favorite games in general. <laughs> uh, I used to have him, uh, Lord Soup. I used to. Hey, why do I, can I only dig to one side, or does it? Ah, it ha it uses two fire buttons. Okay, that's something you don't see very often uh, in these early systems. The only thing is, my uh, two fire buttons are basically exchanged, so I use the right one to dig to the left. Oh well. Oh, come on. I want to go down there. It's a pretty faithful version of uh, Load Runner. With the well known problem of getting onto the left side there. Yeah, it's an absolute classic, eh, Curtis? Although there are tricks if you know your way around here. Ah, forgot that the buttons are the other way around. I want to dig to the right and dig to the left. And this makes me wonder something about uh, the very first game we tried. I will check that in a bit. It could be that I actually used the other fire button without me realizing it. No, come closer first. Give me a bit of extra time here. have to get that one at the bottom there still but yeah the Apple 2 it was such an amazing game already on the Apple and oh this is uh, a well executed version uh, just I can't play I can't uh, control it decent enough I should really connect one of my uh, old Suzo uh, joysticks switches, but they only have one fire button so it wouldn't work for this game. Yeah, I don't, I haven't found any uh, flaws in it yet, uh, Curtis. Hey Odin! Welcome back, how was the outside world? Because I know you weren't quite sure if you wanted to go outside, but... Did you have a good day uh, so far, mate? Oh heck, they all have one. Okay. Let's first grab this one then. Let's use this as an exit so I can get out of their way. Is this the last one? No, there must be some more somewhere. That's the one. The Bounty Bob games were pretty good too, I agree. 
<laughs> I can imagine that, uh, Odin. It's uh, something we, we haven't been around humans a lot lately, so it's... Uh... <laughs> Can I make this in time? Should be able to. Yeah. Uh, humans uh, pixels is uh, what we still pretend to be. Ah, too slow. I said pretend to be uh, Odin. I didn't say we were. I forgot to go uh, to the middle section at the top there, but okay, let's first do the rest. Now, let's see if we can do this. Slow them down. Hopefully without killing them, because otherwise they end up appearing somewhere at the top one of uh that's what i mean that was a mistake thankfully i saw it just in time because it happened to come at exactly the wrong point one this way one this way That's positive. Does it show that I like this game, guys? <laughs> I have played versions of this before, uh, as you might guess. <laughs> but it's been a while since I... Uh, played on this level how did this go I seem to remember there's a invisible drop here somewhere no I didn't dare do it <laughs> I used to be better at this uh, Lord Soup now let me think, I have to go from this side. Yeah, too late. <laughs> I doubt I will make it through this level uh, nowadays. Especially if I start doing this, although no, it's still possible. I don't know the exact number. Moment, we have a total of, uh, I think, 25 that I selected. And I think we did about seven or eight now. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, Aaron. Welcome in. Yeah, well, the boy's homework is important. Let me see. Can I do this from here? Maybe. Well, not if I do it this way. I have to wait. Well, thankfully, I only have a half day uh, to work uh, tomorrow, Odin, so that helps. I hope I remember correctly how to do this. No, I didn't. This won't work. Ah, stupid. Dark the wrong side. I guess I give myself one of these. Uh, nope, Odin. Never watched it, really. Should have done that earlier, but it's still possible, I think. Uh, not if you walk into him. <laughs> Let's try that again. Usually, dig two here should be enough. A nice deal. Which one are you getting? Uh, how did this one go again? Uh. Okay. Ah, too slow. I want to see if I remember correctly how it goes on that left side there. Not this way, okay. Well, for the first time in a long time, not too bad. Yet you didn't, uh, Teal. Any specific reason why not? Up, down, left, right. Okay, and um, what do you feel about that, uh, Teal? How do you feel about that? Do you agree or?
Ah, that's the way it works in this one. Okay. Oops, it was too slow. Interesting sounds in this one. Ah, that's how we do it. So, yeah, okay. Whoa. Yeah, it's a space panic basically, but not the best version ever. I don't like the map actually. It's uh, I think it's the wrong map, but. Uh, here, uh, restaurants are just uh, simply closed. Ah, bummer, I have to keep it pressed. Uh, not the best version ever, but it works. Well, we're far from there over here, uh, Odin. Uh, here all restaurants are closed, um, only uh, delivery and pickup. Uh, all supermarkets and bakeries and such are open, but one has to have uh, wear a mask inside. And other stores are allowed to open, but only um, by appointment, with, when an appointment has to be made at least uh, four hours in advance and maximum one person per 25 square meter and uh, two people per 25 square meters in the store Okay, ASCII we uh, noticed there was the company that together with uh, um, With Microsoft came out with uh, the MSX standard So we will see some of those uh, that name relatively often Oops, I see uh, they come back to me. That wasn't uh, what I had uh, wanted, but okay. So you can shoot through the green, not through the red. So I have to be careful that uh, those the tank down there can't shoot me. Ah, oops, I didn't notice that tank on the right there that shot through the red. Since when is that possible? Oops, not. Ah. Damn. It's an uh, interesting game. Yep, this is a uh, 1980s World of Tanks uh, deal. Oops, can't hit from there. Then we'll wait for this. There we go. Okay, and this one, that gives me a bonus. And then I guess I go to a different screen. I guess the quickest way will be to shoot through here. <laughs> Hardly teal, but uh, I wasn't gonna wait for him to come through. Oops, yeah, 
Sasha below. That, that's just that's irritating that they ping pong back on you. Oh, and I'm now up there. I notice. I uh, know I can't shoot through there. Wait for the tank to be in front of you, because otherwise, like the damn, I was sure I hit it there, but nope. Oh, and I'm not allowed to touch them either. Okay, let's try this again. Indeed, it has curses, but I wasn't uh, expecting it from this game. This at least I can do without any danger. Something is glitching there, see that? <laughs> Let's see what we have uh, on this side. There. I dared, but only because I could get out of the way. I'm pretty sure MSX did use uh, sprites actually, Curtis, so chances are it were sprites, but. I know it's uh, ridiculous, uh, Curtis. Uh, Odin. Whoa! Sure, turn and fire at one go. Why not? Interesting game. I could imagine spending a lot of time on that uh, back in, with that back in the day. It's fun. Only reason I'm uh, going on to the next game is because I know that time uh, goes by and. <laughs> uh, we just about halfway through the number of games. Now, this was interesting. When I did my Frogger stream, there was one person that wouldn't work. And I don't know what changed. <laughs> it's somewhat based on that ID, but then on uh, an 8-bit system. But this is the MSX version of Frogger. It actually works this time. A well-known melody. I must say I like this version. It's uh, they try to make it look a bit like uh, the original uh, by making the screen less white. Interesting choice, but it's, it works. <laughs> oh, 
And what do you want to say with that, uh, Teal? What's your point? Oh, I didn't make that one. <laughs> oh, let's pick her up. Well, Pix, uh, I don't know if you saw my uh, Frogger stream, but not all of the official versions were uh, that good. Yep, some absolutely were. Well, this one is actually quite decent. Not perfect, but quite decent. The PC version was pretty bad, actually. Okay, it does have the snake in there. be with a bit different movement than I'm used to. That was stupid. That was pure stupidity. Ah, come on. Snake shouldn't turn back on itself like that. <laughs> That's the one issue I have with this version so far, that the snake turns back on itself. I'll give it one more try. That's something you don't have in the... Arcade version, for instance. I am, by the way, actually trying to come up with another game to do a comparison stream with, but... Oh yeah, there's bound to be one, or two, or more. Oh, I missed that one. Hmm. That must have been close, though. I notice I'm getting involved in the game. I'm starting to move my upper body with uh, the movement of the frog. <laughs> well, let's take her along. Let's take her for the ride.
<laughs> uh, I actually do have Doom on my iPod Classic, uh, Odin. And it's very playable. I uh, could do that comparison, the only thing is uh, trying to stream that is a bit difficult. Ah. <laughs> now I do have a um, iPod, what is it? Model 3 I think or Model 4, but I have uh, Doom on there. <laughs> Now, but the problem is with those comparison streams, it has to be a game that I'm at least a bit decent at. So that uh, leaves out most shoot 'em ups, for instance. Talking about shoot 'em up, what's this? And preferably, all or at least most of them would have to work on the Mr. FPGA. Now I'm pretty sure Secure doesn't even run on the one uh, PC core we have on there, the 486. Ooh. <laughs> For those who don't know, Odin does know that uh, Secure is the one game, the one stream uh, that, uh, game that when people stream it, I will not watch. Because I just cannot stand the game. I don't know why, but I just can't stand it. Oh, it has auto fire. Why am I uh, keep pushing the fire button then? Okay, Johnson. And what number did you have in mind? 199. Okay, I will uh, do this once I uh, lose my last life in this game. Welcome in, Johnson. <laughs> How you doing, mate? Okay, we lost a life, so... Number 199 from 8 bit book. Let's see what that gives us. Ah! An interesting one. I don't know anything about this game, so we'll see what we find out. Page 209 I go to, and it was on the Amstrad CPC. <laughs> La Abadia del Crimen, I guess you pronounce it, by Opera Soft, published by Opera Soft, from, by Paco Menendez uh, Guan del Can on the Amstrad CPC. Oh, and for those wondering, we are reading from this book, the A-Book book, 1981. Yeah. The Abbey of Crime, indeed. Um, you see an image of uh, the cassette or disc cover. With the 1986 feature film adaptation of Umberto Eco's The Name of the Rose still fresh in the mind of discerning cinema goers everywhere, Spanish student Francisco Paco Menendez set, out, set about producing his own 8-bit computer interpretation of the story for the Amstrad CPC. Hi, 48K Ram, welcome in. Uh, unable to secure the official rights to use the book's original title, allegedly due to Eco's inability to grasp the concept of the computer game, Menendez decided instead to name the, his game La Abadia del Crimen, the little translation of which was The Abbey of Crime. Though it was not to prove an instant commercial success, the game met with widespread adulation, and over time came to be regarded as one of the Amstrad CPC's finest titles. 
Not only were conversions for the 128K Spectrum, the MSX and the PC all swiftly approved and underway, but fans of the game have since created numerous enhanced remakes, all lovingly crafted to both acknowledge and improve upon the Amstrad CPC's originals, not in considerable terms. For Menendez, La Abadia del Crimen was to prove both his masterpiece and his swan song. Barely a year after its release, he turned his back on computer game development for good, having grown wary of the increasingly suffocating commercialization of the industry. He returned to his studies, completing his degree in telecommunication engineering, and subsequently embarking upon a nine-year research project in parallel data processing. It was suggested that the immense pressure of his undertaking was chief among the reasons for the trouble programmer's decision to take his own life in November 1999. The object of the game was to unravel the mystery surrounding a series of murders in a 14th century Benedictine monastery. Players controlled both the main protagonist, a Franciscan monk known as Guillermo de Alcam, and his young assistant Azzo. The latter was, latter was useful not only in practical terms, such as being able to carry additional objects, but also as a guide, reminding his master when it was time for meals or prayer services, even leading the way if necessary. Failure to attend would be viewed as a flagrant display of disobedience, reflected in Guillermo and Azzo's diminishing obsequium level. Should this be eroded completely or the pair be caught snooping around the monastery late at night, the abbot would insist on their instant expulsion, effectively ending the game. With only seven days to carry out the investigation, complying with the abbot's strict regime made interacting with other monks, unearthing vital clues and collecting key objects in the correct order all the more complicated. And this, by the way, was a game from 1988. Thanks for requesting that, uh, Johnston. How are you doing, Johnston? Uh... <laughs> oh, um, 48k RAM. Loading uh, from a disk in uh, Amstrad. You start with cat to get the catalog of the instead of there. So cat. And then load is, uh, if it's just a basic or a uh, binary file, you can just do run, quotation mark, and then the name of the file with or without the extension. If I remember correct, but I'm sure a lot of soup is going to tell me uh, if it's correct or not. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that was another reading from the Abadia Del Clemen. <laughs> I'm surprised I remember them, uh, Johnson, but probably only because uh, if about a month ago or so I played uh, on the Amtrak CPC, so. <laughs> I play on all those different systems these days, so I get to uh, learn all kinds of things. And today we're doing the first year, or rather the first half year, of the MSX, and there's some surprising games in there. Oh yeah, I have to retry something on that first game uh, that I tried earlier. Yeah, it sounds so happy, eh, Teal? Nice, 48k RAM. And you're very welcome. Yeah, had I not said that uh, Lord Soup could have told you all of it, because uh, he knows CPC. Those eggs are dangerous if you don't shoot them in time. Ah. 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna try because I just realized that we were. Uh, I wanted to try something in that first game since I suddenly realized that MSX supports two fire buttons. I wonder. For those who weren't in at the time, we I was playing a game early on, Turbo, and it didn't seem to make sense. <laughs> I wonder if it's just the fact that I didn't realize that there was a second fire button in this one. Um, let's go for normal play. Okay, so the A button advances. Yes, that was the reason why. Now we know how to play this game. Well... I never realized that uh, MSX supported uh, two fire buttons. And it actually does auto fire, that's always nice when it does that. Ah, now I get points, because I didn't get any points earlier for some, and we didn't realize, we didn't understand why. Feel free to clip any time, of course, uh, guys. <laughs> but at least I now understand what the game is, how I'm supposed to play the game. Doesn't mean I can do it, but I understand it now. <laughs> what deal? Oh my! Okay, we'll uh, leave the game be for a moment. Hi, Mighty Mouse! Welcome in, Mighty Mouse and Raiders! What a nice surprise of you! Always nice to see you! How was your stream, Mito? I'm sure uh, Teal will do a shout out uh, for you. Did you have a good stream, uh, Mighty Mouse? You already did. Ah, okay. I missed that while I was still uh, something here. Yeah, um, for those who don't know me, I'm Frodo Anel. I'm uh, a Dutch uh, weird guy that uh, just loves to play games. I'm not a good gamer, but I love to play games, especially retro games. Uh... Puzzling, uh, my Mouse. Always fun. I love puzzle games. So, what game did you do? The Room. Ah, yes. That's puzzling, all right. Yeah, um, I love to play retro games mostly, uh, 80s and early 90s, although I also play some uh, modern games nowadays. But, uh, ah, thank you for the follow, JB Dark Anubis. <laughs> Yeah, we often stream at similar times, uh, Maito. I noticed that. But yeah, I uh, play, as I said, mostly 80s and uh, early 90s games, uh, usually on my uh, Mr. FPGA. And today we are doing that too, and uh, we're playing games from the first year of the MSX systems. I was going to say computer, but it's a whole set of computers uh, introduced, uh, standard introduced by... Uh, Microsoft and ASCII Corporation in uh, June 1983. So we're playing games from 1983 on the MSX. And there are some interesting games, and every now and again we notice something that we didn't realize before. Like, for instance, that the MSX supports two fire buttons, not just one, which suddenly means that this game that I'm playing is playable. And 
Thanks for the follow, no homo sapiens. Uh, we go back to the game. Yeah, we didn't realize that uh, the second button on this does fire. Oops. <laughs> well, I'm glad you had fun, uh, Maito. These are, of course, games uh, of a bit of a different type compared to what you uh, usually play, but... Okay, Teal. I guess I actually completed a level or something. Yeah, I completed a level, okay. And now, okay, now I cannot shoot. Okay then. <laughs> but yeah, this, uh, okay, now at least we know that we can play this game. Yeah, for those who don't know, I do have a Discord. It's very new. Really only a very few members so far, but uh, hey, who knows? I will at least use it to announce when I have extra streams. My standard schedule actually, I can share this way. And for those who don't know Teal yet, or actually let's go for both of them. Uh, I have two moderators here. Uh, who are also friends, and uh, I appreciate them. Feel free to follow them too if you haven't followed them yet. They are uh, both very nice streamers and very nice people. Yep, and I'm using indeed a Raspberry Pi to do this nowadays. <laughs> I had Odin help me yesterday uh, debugging a script I had made, so <laughs> that's why he knows. And he then uh, taught me how to write a modern version of uh, Node.js. <laughs> C48K RAM, that's the advantage of being in this stream. I have not just retro gamers as friends, but also uh, modern gamers. <laughs> Okay, are we starting? I guess not. So what we do then is we give it a cold reset. That's almost retro indeed, uh, 48k RAM. Let's see if we want to start. I did run all of these games uh, as a test earlier this week, so they should all work, but we'll see. <laughs> so Maito, what was your uh, first computer gaming experience? Okay, something seems to be wrong with this one. Let's do a core reboot. <laughs> That's always an interesting question, eh, Lost Tube? What is retro? Everyone has a different idea about that. I personally feel that uh, as long as it's uh, there's two new generations of a system, or if the system is just no longer produced anyway, I consider it retro, but not everyone agrees with that, I know that. <laughs> I 
I knew you would like that comment, uh, Curtis. <laughs> ah, thanks for the following instinct and welcome in. Okay, it doesn't look like this game is going to run, so we go to the next one in the list. Yeah, I know those kind of stories, uh, Odin. <laughs> That's uh, another possible definition, Lord Soup. Oh yeah, I saw this game and I didn't know this one, but it ah, uh, this one didn't work with uh, this one only works with keyboards. Uh, yeah. In this one, I have to, as a bird, protect the nest and oh, oh come on i have to stop the ladders from reaching the ground on the balloons by damaging the balloons of course preferably without getting hit But it's uh, rather sensitive to exact position, as you can see, because... Ah, bummer. <laughs> and yes, it has the old default dying sound. Come on. I think I can pick this one up or can I not? Nope. Oops. <laughs> uh, that's actually the reason why I went for the mister in the end, even though it's also not uh, extremely cheap, but at least it allows me to uh, do all the games, just about all the games I want to play on just about any system I want from back in the day. For those who don't know, uh, Mr. The Mr. FPGA is a uh, basically a console uh, made out of a few things that uh, allows us to, let's say, simulate it or hardware level emulate. So not a software emulator, but it's hardware level. Uh, simulates all kinds of chips and uh, everything included in uh, various consoles and home computers. Including, well, as you can see, the MSX uh, system. Now, we already saw a variation on the snake game earlier, but this is a bit of a different one. No, it's not software, it's an FPGA, uh, a field programmable array. With... Uh, yeah, it's a variation on Tron. Yeah, I left out the gate in the field programmable gate area. I just realized that too.
It's kind of interesting they combined Snake basically with Tron. I don't remember seeing a version like this. I remember Tron versions, I remember Snake versions of course, but combination of the two in one game basically. Ah. Interesting one, by the way, there, uh, when I'm... Hey, when? Welcome in and thanks for uh, your renewed sub. Fourth month already. I didn't even realize I uh, have been streaming that long. Hey, Sex, also here. Hi. <laughs> For those who don't know when, my other friend and moderator. <laughs> How was repetition uh, when? I'm doing well, uh, Sax. How are you? I believe it went. Good thing you have tomorrow off, I think. Eh? Or what I should say today, because it's just after midnight. Okay, I did say joystick, but it doesn't do anything. Let me see if it's a uh, joystick swap in this case. No. Keyboard does work, okay. But why did I die there? Because the fuel was out. Okay, interesting. Why does the fuel run out? Doesn't make sense. Okay, this doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah, it sure does look like that, hey, Curtis. Let's see, I set it to key play and space. Okay. Ah, got it. I have to use space to speed up, and once you reach the uh, speed, it probably stops uh, leaking fuel. Yeah, there we go. Now it uh, uses less fuel. Probably have to get to... Ah, I missed the gas tank there. A gas uh, station there. But now at least one can play for a bit. Sure, put the gas station on the other side of the road. Okay. It's all about getting as far as possible without crashing too much. Or running out of fuel, rather. 
Well, I guess it is because it's going full speed. It doesn't need to use any gas to keep going, eh? Ah. Gambled wrong of where the next gas is will be. Oh well. It's um, interesting, shall we say. I know, Curtis, I know. That's why there still is a bit of uh, fuel going down. <laughs> I'm just trying to think uh, what the developer might have uh, thought about. Haha, <laughs> cat doing zoomies, always fun. Okay, so this is Pang. Oh no, Catnam Toys. Now you're in trouble, when? Yeah, Pang, or what was it called? There was a different name in some uh, parts of the world, but I know it as Pang. Ah, bummer. <laughs> hey, Char, love you too. <laughs> Ah, lives a bit too dangerous. Dangerous. But uh, it's a simple version, but it works. How you doing, Char? <laughs> <laughs> ah, when I know by now that Char is just greeting me with that. <laughs> Okay, that's uh, a good reason to get out of bed, I guess. Okay, let's go for a classic uh, game. We actually get to play with joystick. Uh, no, not fast. Let's uh, play a bit of breakout. <laughs> Don't you mean uh, E sharp uh, when? I know sex is or was in. <laughs> you would appreciate that, I'm sure.
Yeah, C sharp, I do know, yeah. Well, I don't write it, but I know what you mean, yeah. Yeah, let's combine some uh, nerd jokes with music jokes, yeah. I wonder what they did, because it says scene one. I wonder if they have different uh, level setups. Every now and again, I like to play these uh, relatively simple games. Okay, it gets fast now. I find it kind of funny if you, uh, some people, some gamers look down on people. Uh, I would do both, uh, car. If, sorry, if you're going anyway. Look down on uh, what they call casual gamers. But basically, most of our games back in the day were ca would now be considered casual games. <laughs> One wonders how long that uh, talk uh, will go on there between Odin and Teal. No, just uh, a wonder. I did say wonder, I didn't say I wonder, I wonder, so nope. No movie reference there at all. Oops, I had to lose the ball at some point. <laughs> Char, I'm not married. And my girlfriend lives too far away to uh, do anything to them, so... <laughs> so yeah, they did do different setups for the levels, but... I'm not going to put you through more of this. I just want to see what it is. But it's a decent version of a classic game. Okay, what are... Ah, there we go. We got four games to go. And the last one, when we'll know, because uh, she requested me playing it the other day on uh, a different system.
Boogie Woogie Jungle. Okay, Char, thanks for the lurk. It's appreciated. Ah, I can't fire. Okay, good. I'm guessing I need to collect everything that's there. Not sure if I also need to exit somewhere, but we'll see in a bit. No, just need to collect everything. <laughs> uh, let's see the map. Okay. Let's start by fleeing away from them all. And you have to do it from the side. Okay. It's a bit of a puzzle platformer. Get things in the right order so you don't get into trouble. Very simple graphics, but it makes for a playable game actually. It's fun. Wonder how many levels they have. Uh, okay. Can I make that in time? Nope, not this way. Okay, so that's not the way to do it. Then let's try something else. I think I'm in trouble here. Unless, uh, maybe. Can I do that quick enough? Yeah. I guess I shouldn't go down uh, to the right there. And now, that one's the last thing I need. But can I get by here somehow? Maybe. If I get them to go up a bit further, maybe I can. Uh, nope, not this way. Well. Hmm. This becomes difficult suddenly. But I don't see how I escape from here, but I will try again. Wait a second, can I do this? That's the way I can do it. As long as you don't make that mistake. Hey, Don Paul Bear, welcome in. How are you doing? As you can see, uh, today I'm doing 
the first year of MSX. Yeah. Yeah, this actually looks pretty good, but it's not e it's simple, but it works. This might be something I will go back to at some point. Ah, nice one. Uh, guys, for those who didn't know yet, uh, today is Oniva's birthday, so... Um, I'm glad to hear you arrived, uh, Han. Enjoy uh, your time. And uh, talk to you tomorrow. Ah, hi there, mate. <laughs> I have to say hi there because otherwise he doesn't believe it's me. Thanks, Ren. It's appreciated. Thanks, Seal. <laughs> in some parts of the world it's uh, standard to also congratulate uh, direct family and uh, other relations with uh, their partners or their uh, Over here, it's normal if yeah, if a partner of someone has a birthday, uh, to also congratulate the partner with that fact. <laughs> I know it's a bit of a weird habit to some, but it's just something that's done over here. Oh, this also has uh, auto fire. Why was I? Uh, did I keep hitting the button then? I agree, Ren. <laughs> Congratulations or happy birthday or whatever, yeah. yeah. Or congratulations with your uh, partner's birthday or something like that, yeah. Okay, now at least no one has missed that it's uh, Oniva's birthday today. That's basically what it comes down to, uh, Odin. And in certain cases we just say commiserations, but yeah. That uh, wouldn't work in my case, but... <laughs> Exactly, Teal, why not? <laughs> yeah, for those who don't usually see me play, as you can see, I'm not the best one at uh, shoot em ups ever, but... For some reason, I still enjoy him. 
guess it's a bit of mag magic. Mag Ugh. Can't really say the word now. You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, you made it a few months with me. Surprisingly so. When I first started, I really thought I would be doing three or four uh, streams and uh, maybe get uh, five or six viewers, but that changed a bit over time. Uh, you are special, Odin, and we like you that way. Most of the time. <laughs> we got two more games to go. <laughs> oh, I know how you can be, Odin. And I'm not complaining. You know I... Uh, I enjoy being around you and uh, chatting with you. A child park. What kind of children do they keep there? Hmm. Okay, what do we get next? I have a weird feeling I have to jump over that, yeah. How did I guess? Whoops. <laughs> ah, okay, you have to time your jumps, your push on the jump key here. Looks pretty. It's kind of cute. Okay, I probably have to keep a bit of distance there to. Oops, almost ran into it. I sure hope you don't. <laughs> what do we get in this scene? Do we get anything? Nope, nothing yet. Okay, we made it through the first park, I guess. I hope we get something else now. We get a bonus score. We got a child park again, stage two. Whoa! That uh, suddenly raised the level a lot. Oh wow. Yep, missed that one. Oops, how high can I jump? Okay. Ah, I missed it. You have to time your jump. Okay. Whoa, I guess I just fell too far there. This is uh, interesting variation. I didn't know this one. Athletic land. Konami, that would normally imply that it must be an arcade game, but I don't know it. Well, I have to look that up afterwards. I guess so, Teal. Looks that way, at least.
No, good. So I will have to look it up because this is. It was an interesting game, actually. It was not perfect, it was fun. Now, this one we do know, be it from uh, the ColecoVision. And as some people said then already, there's a lot of stuff that the ColecoVision and the MSX have in common, including this game. And actually, when suggested me to play this one the other day on when uh, I was doing a random uh, game stream on Saturday. And it's a game I enjoy, so why not? Gotta love this music, eh? <laughs> Yeah, it's almost a shame that it's uh, the last game of the stream and uh, you might not even... Well, I think you have enough points, but it's the uh, last game of stream, so it doesn't make sense to do it, eh? Because <laughs> I suddenly realized what animal we have here. Yeah, I remember you saying that, that you were nearly there the other day, yeah. Am I really not gonna make it in this one? <laughs> yeah, but not in one stream, when Not in one stream. <laughs> Only two redeems per stream. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, uh, Odin. Uh, Supertox actually is already relatively old. It came out, I think, was it before 2000 even? So it might be considered uh, retro already. But at the very least it's retro inspired. Oh, come on. I know I can play this better. Take there. Gotta love this music. It's so cute. The whole game is just cute, but music is uh, nice and optimistic. And this time we are gonna make it to the end, as long as I don't make these kind of mistakes too often. One, half a second at the end, uh, Teal. You know, C is a passing grade too, you know?
<laughs> ah, come on. <laughs> oh, come on. Go, get out of there. I'm not going to make it, I think. It's going to be very close if I'm going to make it. Depending on how many mistakes I make now. And this is irritating. I knew it was going to happen. Those two directly after each other. Yeah, not going to make it. Oh yes, I sure played X-Bill, of course. Back in the day when Microsoft still uh, was completely anti-Linux. <laughs> they changed their tone a bit over time. It's going to be close. It's going to be very close, but I'm going to get it. Yes, yeah, Sax, this is such a cute game. And I played it on the Coleco version before. And then I found out it was also on this system, so I had to play it, of course. Hehe. <laughs> No violence whatsoever, you know. Just a cute game with cute music. Ah. Three behind yourself, that's mean. Okay, this, is this better, uh, Teal? I'm not quite sure what uh, flags are. <laughs> yeah, well, but hey, pigs, they uh, chose to become a walrus, uh, you know? That's their choice. And they tend to come out just at the moment I go by. I can't help that. You know, it's their fault. I'm sure I would win that in court. <laughs> Ah, see, that's what I mean. I'm going by there and he comes out. That's just, you know, his own fault. Exactly. <laughs> see, you do get it. <laughs> ah, I thought I would just steer by that one, but... I don't think I'm going to make this one. But, uh, unless I'm very lucky now. Oh, I'm going to make it. Wow. With seven seconds this time. Yeah, that's run for you, eh? Yeah, that's a bit difficult with all of them in a row there. Whoa. We get more uh, of them out now. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm not quite sure if maybe uh, the green flag adds time. We would have to check that in a moment. No, it doesn't. Okay. So I'm not quite sure what the flag does, but it seems to be important to get them. So if I can, I will get them. <laughs> ah, this one. No, this is the end. Especially after this. I have only 9 seconds, 8, 7. Nah, no. Nah. Oh well. Got at least through a few levels. Yeah, I think it's just score indeed, uh, Pix. I'm just quickly checking if I missed anything in chat, but... Not really. I'll play one more time to end uh, the stream. Okay, Odin, have a good night. Thanks for coming by, always fun. And thanks again for your assistance yesterday with the debugging of uh, my little uh, script. Ah, come on. I'd ride of race her. Ah, almost did it there. Actually, Odin, uh, we have been trying to teach uh, Teal about uh, sleep. We've been trying to get him to stop using one five-letter word starting with S and replace it with the other one, but it takes some time, it seems. Okay, this is probably my worst round so far. <laughs> well, no, I have to at least make it through this level one more time. <laughs> nice try, Teal. Nice try. I guess so, uh, Pigs. It's kind of interesting, by the way, in the ColecoVision version, you start in a different point on the map. I realize it doesn't really make a difference in the game, but... I don't know if they had a specific reason for doing that, but... In the ColecoVision version, you start on the top right of the map. In the meantime, if anyone has anyone, uh, any suggestion for a rate in a bit, feel free to tell me. I will be looking in a bit myself, of course, but... Oh, come on. Once you make that one, you can't avoid the other one. That's sometimes difficult. At least I 
least I should be making at this time, just. Well, maybe not if I do this. Nope, not gonna make it again. Jeez, come on. <laughs> I know I can do it. One last try, and this is the final try, no matter how far I get. But I remember when I first played this game, I was it was the very first game I played on my first ColecoVision stream. My first ever... <laughs> uh, just about, I guess, uh, Teal. But yeah, it was uh, my uh, first time playing any ColecoVision game. This was the game I played, so it was a nice intro. Made a nice impression on me uh, once. know what to say about hindsight uh, Teal it doesn't help you one bit one more jump here one more green flag jump here and it's gonna be very close again <laughs> with three left on the timer. But I said this was my last one. So it is. Yep, that was Penguin Adventure indeed, Lord Soup. And that was the end of the, the game for today. Okay, anyone else with any other ideas? I'm just having a look myself if I see someone in my list. Actually, what's he playing now? PS5, no. <laughs> Bit too new. Uh, we waited Feral before. And who is this? Fantasy Star. Yeah, well, yeah, let's go. They have a camera. Uh, when did you check? Well, that's uh, always nice if someone has a camera. Okay, then we will wait. Uh, the guy with the bow tie, you said. Okay. Let's see if we can find it here. I can't type today. What else is new, eh? <laughs> thank you, Teal. <laughs> I appreciate the compliment. Yeah, thank you all for coming by. Um, I did enjoy the stream. Thanks uh, for the bits. And now I forgot the name, and I can't. I don't have the list here. And thanks for the raid to Mito. Thanks all for coming by and uh, 
Well, I'll be back uh, with the stream on Saturday. I don't know what I will be doing yet, but I'm sure uh, it will be something retro. Have a good day, night, whatever all, and see you all soon. Bye-bye.